Hello, hello, beautiful people. I've been thinking about you and wanted to come on and just offer some food for thought, check in on you, make sure you're doing well, or to shake you from the world of fear because we've been given a spirit of love and power and a sound mind, but not one of fear. And if you look around today, you see a lot of folks walking in fear. They have on shields, triple masks, and they run across the street when you're coming down or they're like, oh my God, you know, and I see all of this and I just go, whoa, God bless. And when they run to the side, when I come, I just enjoy the extra space that they give me. But guess what? It is totally up to you to think, to use your mind, the one that the creator gave you. And so remember when you were like, Back in the day, you used to hear the thing that says, a mind is a terrible thing to waste. How many of you are using your mind to just stop and think? Common sense don't seem so common anymore. Anyway, I just wanted to say, pause, take a deep breath, and just breathe in the blessings of life because the air is the essence that we need. And it was created for us to inhale the breath that the creator gave us. Try it right now. Just take a deep breath in. No man could give you that, but they could try and take it away from you. Just food for thought. So listen, you have an arsenal that is great, that is grand, that is magnificent. But what's the point in having an arsenal to use in this game called life? if we don't acknowledge or if we don't pick up the ammunition we're given. It's like many say, oh, there's a God, there's a creator, there's Jesus, there's this, there's that. But I don't see them accessing the power within. And how do you do that? You have a relationship and you practice it daily. One thing I do is when I first get up in the morning is I give thanks for life, give thanks for the new day. Just those simple words, thank you, can change your vibration, can change your life. And so acknowledging the power within can change you if you decide. But everything is a choice. Remember that. So I also wanted to mention that we have so many other different tools in this chest, this arsenal. And one of them is a great mind that we can use. You know, uh, I was thinking about those masks for a moment. That's why I paused. And I was thinking people are wearing, are they really masks or just like a diaper? So they have these masks or things on their face and you can smell the cologne, you can smell the food, you can smell the smoke, you can smell all these things as you're walking around concealed behind these face obstructions. And if you can smell those things, wouldn't it mean that the virus has already gotten in or the bacteria that's out here in the universe that makes up the whole system that we live in, the microbiome, the eco, it's all part of how we're supposed to live. Food for thought. So consider that. Maybe take that mask off when you're outside and just breathe in the air that the creator's given you and let it bless you. Let it fill your lungs. Let it fill your body and give thanks. Make sure you're getting some sunshine because that's the real vitamin D. Yes, you need to be out there and expose your skin to it. It takes a bit of time out there, you know, to get it in, but it's better than a supplement. Supplements are there for a reason to help for a moment, but the universe has always given us everything we need. That's why your body knows how to heal itself. Even when you bite your tongue or you bite your lip or you do something, you scrape yourself, your body has been healing itself for ages. It knows what to do. Very interesting how uh, the system has really inundated folks and have them hypnotized just like that. See, got you hypnotized. And you hear people talking about escaping the matrix. There's only one way out. You make a choice to get out. So everything in life is a choice. If you want to be hypnotized and mesmerized, continue watching the television and watch what they do to your mind. They will pull you in because remember this, wherever attention goes, power flows, no matter what it is. 
So if you're wanting to see something gain momentum, give attention to it, good, bad, or indifferent, and you will see what will happen. So if you're wanting to feel good, give attention to feeling good. If you're wanting good health, give attention to good health and stop looking at the negative. If you're wanting prosperity, you can't keep looking at the lack thereof. So let us remember this. I always say, change your mind and your ass will follow. So it's up to you to make that decision to change. I love you all. I send love, light, peace, and all those wonderful things. And remember, you have a choice. And I like to say something I got from one of my uh, invisible mentors now. I'm choosing good health, happiness, love, success, prosperity, lots of money, and peace of mind. So be encouraged and remember, you can